there are three buckets for mortals to think about. Small molecule, as opposed to large molecule. A large molecule is a biologic. It's the kind of drugs you hear about for cancer. Large molecules are not in play. But the reason we say small molecule is every drug you've probably ever taken in your entire life has been a small molecule. It is a small drug. You stick it in your mouth. It goes into your stomach. It goes into your blood. Your liver cleans a ton of it out. Some of it gets to where it's going and fixes the problem, right? This is what Dr. Chow is doing, and I shouldn't be talking, he should, right? Small molecules are what we are going to, what we are hoping to find and help our kids ameliorate symptoms as fast as possible because we can put them in tomorrow. And when I, met, when I said repeated here, I'm sure there's a better word for it. As was mentioned, you take a drug, your body cleans it, your body excretes it, you got to take the drug again the next day, right? Repeated dose through the mouth, the liver takes a hit. ASOs, why is it a spinal tap? It's a spinal tap because if you stick it in the mouth, you can, you could drink an ASO. And all you're going to do is screw up your liver because your liver is going to absorb 90% of it. Then you're going to have to make a ton of it. And you want it to get to the brain, right? So 100 units go in the mouth, however many units hit the liver, 10 units make it to the blood, one unit makes it to the brain. 100 to 1, not good. I'm making those numbers up. So with an ASO, the way this, and this is, this is, I'm just, again, I'm making up words, which is probably killing the, 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 the PhDs in the room, but I'm, I'm trying to talk to mortals here. This is a general, this is hitting the whole system, right? As JR said, this is precise. We all know Syngap in our kid's head is busted. So we want to get to the brain precisely. And we don't want to mess with the liver, which is why it's spinal tap, right? Because we, don't, we want to bypass the liver. How do you bypass the liver? You go into the cerebrospinal fluid and you get it up to the brain directly. But you have to do that in a repeated fashion every three to four months because the drug is consumed, right? And then Jim mentioned virus. Next level, the virus gets in and the virus spreads. Good news, the virus gets in and the virus spreads. Bad news, the, the body knows how to deal with viruses. It forms an immune response. So the next time you put in that virus, the body will take it out. One and done. Which means titration is a problem. If you put in too much, what goes wrong? We don't know yet. We haven't done it to a human. If you put in too little, what goes wrong? Well, maybe nothing, but maybe not enough goes right, and you've just used that virus. Because when you start talking about AAVs, you're talking about delivery and cargo, right? There are multiple companies thinking about using AAV9 to deliver what? Something that does something that makes Syngap go up. So when we start talking about AAVs and CRISPR and all this madness, and, and like yesterday we talked about exosomes with the Zemplenny, right? Exosomes would be another delivery mechanism. What would we deliver something else? But, you know, we can go way deep and dazzle you with profound details. But the punchline for us as parents raising kids who are getting older is if we can find a small molecule, we can use it tomorrow. We are familiar with this model. ASOs are new. We've used them for spinal muscular atrophy. And we're, start, and we're seeing them go into kids for Dravet, and we, and we heard from Praxis yesterday, who I think is sticking them in kids for, yeah, SCN2A. But we're at, the, we're at the very beginning of this type of medicine for the brain. And the reason I think it's worth every parent in here getting this through your heads, getting this through our collective heads, right now it's like, oh, this weird science stuff that we talked about before coffee. In, in, in one or two, maybe three years, companies will be calling you. I will be calling you saying, you have a child who is of age that they could participate in a trial. Would you like to fly to a hospital and stick a needle in your child's spine to take a medicine that no one's put in a human before? We're going to have that conversation. So you've got to get your heads wrapped around what this is, and you've got to pay attention to where it's happening because this is coming. And then in a few years after that, you heard from Tevard yesterday, very exciting. That'll be delivered by a viral vector. And here's the thing about viral vector. Tevard has got their tRNA suppressor in an AAV9. Probably correct, okay. There are other companies, a lot of other companies, who also have things in AAV9. So not only do you have to get your head wrapped around, am I comfortable putting an AAV9 in my kid's brain? You've got to be comfortable with if I only get to put an AAV9 in my kid's brain once, do I want to do it with Tevard's technology? Or do I want to do it with company A's technology? Or company B's technology? And those are just the two NDAs I can think of that I'm under right now. 
who are also using AAV9. Right? So this is not a theoretical conversation. We are not here because anyone wants to be out of bed right now. This is, these are therapeutic approaches you can and hopefully will have a chance to do to your loved one. So I think when you start CRISPR and prime editing, we had a huge discussion at the board, a very lively debate, and then I'll shut up. Let's spend a bunch of money on prime editing. And I said, no way. A, it's a lot of money. B, there's all this other stuff that's going to happen first. And by the way, do you remember the biomarker conversation? Nobody knows what to measure when we do any of these right now. That's why I was so excited when I introduced the EEG guy. When we do this or this or this, what will we measure? Are we going to have Sydney say, last week Emmett had 20 seizures and then we gave him the drug and this week Emmett had five seizures? Is Sydney's word good enough for the FDA? It's not. Sorry. The FDA wants something they can measure, something that's validated, something that's been published. That's why Frazier was important, right? So the, the, I, I'm sorry to send us down this rabbit hole, but it, this, is, this is real, guys. Like we throw a prime editing, CRISPR, blah, blah, blah. Which drug will you put in your kid? This is coming in a, in a very reasonable number of months. So sink your teeth into this and ask a lot of questions. And when you, if you meet industry people, say to them, are you doing an ASO or an AAV? How many years? Be polite. Thank them for being here. But push them just a little bit. This is, this is not a theoretical anymore. Five years ago, it was a one day maybe. This is coming. And it's coming fast.